My name is Kelsey Timby, and I'm the Scientific Programs Manager at the Focus Ultrasound Foundation. Today, I'll be talking to you about the blood-brain barrier and how Focus Ultrasound can overcome it. What do we mean by the blood-brain barrier? Most of the blood vessels in the body are actually quite leaky, which facilitates the transfer of nutrients and other compounds to and from the bloodstream. However, the brain is our most important and sensitive organ and can be damaged by dangerous chemicals or other organisms that may enter our bloodstream. The blood vessels in our brain are highly specialized and contain cells that are closely linked together, preventing the vast majority of compounds from entering our brain tissue. This construct is what we call the blood-brain barrier. While the blood-brain barrier is usually a protective mechanism, in the case of neurological disease, it instead becomes a barrier to treatment. Because the blood-brain barrier prevents most drugs from entering the brain, it hampers treatment for a wide range of diseases, including brain cancer, both brain metastases and primary tumors, like glioma. It also affects the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's disease, psychiatric conditions including addiction, depression, and OCD, and other central nervous system conditions like stroke and traumatic brain injury. So how have researchers overcome the blood-brain barrier? The most common method involves designing drugs or drug carriers that are capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier by hijacking naturally occurring transport methods in a sort of Trojan horse approach. This drug formulation process is both time and resource intensive, must be repeated for each new drug developed and doesn't always work, slowing the pace of drug development and causing countless drugs to be shelved simply because we cannot get them across the blood-brain barrier. While specially formulated drugs allow for a non-invasive method to overcome the blood-brain barrier, the drugs cannot be targeted to a specific region within the brain and often cause unwanted side effects in healthy brain tissue. One method commonly used to bypass the blood-brain barrier is direct injection. A small hole is bored into the skull, and a needle is inserted into the targeted brain region to deliver the drug directly. While this method alleviates the need to modify drugs for transport across the blood-brain barrier, it is an invasive procedure that carries a risk of infection and damage to healthy tissue. Focus ultrasound, on the other hand, is both non-invasive and targeted capable of temporarily disrupting the blood-brain barrier in a specific region of the brain to permit drug delivery. Furthermore, focus ultrasound is relatively drug agnostic, meaning that it can be used to deliver a wide range of compounds, including chemotherapies and genetic treatments. How did we come to understand that focus ultrasound can disrupt the blood-brain barrier? As with many great scientific discoveries, it was an accident. In the late 1800s, a scientist discovered the blood-brain barrier when he injected an animal with a dye and noted that the animal's entire body, except for the brain, absorbed the dye. Focus ultrasound entered the picture 50 years later, when it was first used to treat brain tissue. This was a very rudimentary system that required part of the skull to be removed, and it was only capable of ablating or killing off diseased tissue. In 1995, while continuing work on tissue ablation with focus ultrasound, a team of researchers noted that the blood-brain barrier had been disrupted in the healthy tissue around the targeted zone. Shortly thereafter, the first transcranial focus ultrasound system was developed, creating a non-invasive method for the clinical treatment of neurological disease. In 2015, the first patient received a drug delivered across the blood-brain barrier using focus ultrasound. Today, there are nine clinical trials treating four different diseases using this approach. How does focus ultrasound disrupt the blood-brain barrier? Focus ultrasound is applied to a targeted region in the brain. Small gas bubbles, called microbubbles, are injected into the patient's bloodstream, depicted here as silver spheres. The drug to be delivered is also injected into the bloodstream, shown here in purple. Ultrasound, like all sound, is simply a pressure wave with alternating periods of high and low pressure. When this pressure wave interacts with the tissues, the microbubbles act as amplifiers, expanding and contracting as the local pressure changes and pushing and pulling on the blood vessels containing them. This concentrated mechanical force disrupts the cells that make up the blood-brain barrier, 
allowing the drug in the bloodstream to escape and enter the brain tissue. Once beyond the blood-brain barrier, the drug is able to reach its target. The Focus Ultrasound Foundation has been interested in this phenomenon for quite a while. We have funded numerous research projects covering technical development, preclinical work, and clinical trials. This research has covered a vast number of neurological disorders ranging from addiction to stroke. In addition, we have organized multiple workshops to explore this use of Focus Ultrasound, as well as its applicability to certain diseases such as Parkinson's. I'd like to highlight some of the work we are funding. Dr. Francesco Prada of Milan, a former Merkin Fellow here at the Foundation, is creating a microbubble atlas of the brain, intended to measure variations in microbubble concentration throughout the healthy and diseased brain. Given that microbubbles act as amplifiers of the ultrasound energy and are necessary to create blood-brain barrier disruption, it is important to understand this variation in microbubble concentration. Dr. Prada captured this video of microbubbles, visualized in yellow, diffusing throughout a patient's brain. As you can see, there is quite a bit of spatial variation, and it is even possible to identify large blood vessels from the video. Dr. Prada went on to quantify this and demonstrated that brain tumors and arteries contain a large number of microbubbles, while healthy brain tissue and smaller blood vessels contain fewer. There were even significant differences between healthy brain regions. This work will ensure that blood-brain barrier opening treatments are safe and effective. Dr. Michael Caplet of Cornell is using focus ultrasound to reverse the course of Parkinson's disease. As you may know, Parkinson's disease is caused by the death of a specific type of neuron in the brain, depicted here in purple. These neurons are responsible for producing a chemical called dopamine. To date, treatment involves regularly dosing patients with dopamine, but this only treats the symptoms. Dr. Caplet is working on a genetic treatment that would instead support the regrowth of the neurons that produce dopamine, potentially offering a curative therapy in a single treatment. The strength of genetic treatments is that they are akin to providing a recipe rather than an end product, allowing the body to learn or relearn how to make compounds that a healthy body needs. In oncology, brain tumors are notoriously difficult to treat. Brain metastases, meaning tumors that have migrated to the brain from other parts of the body, are especially frustrating as doctors often have drugs that can treat the cancer if it were anywhere but the brain. Common cancers like lung, breast, and melanoma frequently spread to the brain. These patients have much shorter life expectancies and are often excluded from clinical trials because the drugs being tested do not cross the blood-brain barrier. Dr. Nir Lipsman is reversing this trend and has opened a clinical trial using focused ultrasound to deliver proven chemotherapies across the blood-brain barrier in breast cancer patients with brain metastases. Glioblastoma, a type of cancer that arises in the brain, carries a grim prognosis even after aggressive therapy. The gold standard treatment involves surgery, followed by an intensive course of radiation and chemotherapy, and then a period of maintenance chemotherapy, depicted on this timeline as capsules. Clinical trials often represent a trade-off, offering patients a chance at a novel therapy, but also deviating from the gold standard in care. A new clinical trial is combining focused ultrasound with the typical glioblastoma treatment regime, opening the blood-brain barrier prior to each dose of maintenance chemotherapy and hopefully increasing the amount of drug delivered to the tumor. This trial design offers patients the best of both worlds, and we look forward to the results of this multi-site collaboration. To conclude, the blood-brain barrier is a significant obstacle to the treatment of a wide range of neurological diseases and conditions. Focus Ultrasound offers a safe, non-invasive, and localized method to reversibly open the blood-brain barrier. The Focus Ultrasound Foundation is committed to funding preclinical research and clinical trials that will bring this therapy to patients as swiftly as possible. Thank you for your time.